Good morning, y'all. Bond Crowder here, Nick Knack Yak in the Mass Shack. It is episode 33. Look at all the reflections I'm getting. We're talking about the 1976 TI 30 calculator. So I'm Bond Crowder with math4.com at math4 on all social media. And uh, we're here live on Periscope. Hi, Huddle T. I do this every morning at 5 a.m. Unfortunately, I am in the process of fighting with, okay, that's a little better in, in the lighting. I'm fighting with the internet. I, it just doesn't stink and work this morning. So, uh, obviously, it's not y'all's internet. It's my Wi-Fi. So, I'm going to have to spend the day fighting with AT&T, I guess. So, let's get on to, that's why I'm late. That was my, That's the point of that whole on and on. Look at that beauty. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, so it takes a 9-volt battery, which I had, and it turns on. Isn't that wonderful? All right, so look at, if you, can you look, let me see if I can get rid of glare and see the, look at all the functions and how neat they are. You know, and this is the calculator that has that satisfaction that here can you hear the click oh it's wonderful here let me see if I can am I clicking numbers there we go you get more and more where are my numbers oh I'm clicking functions Some of those, like, oops, like the two doesn't quite want to work that well. Isn't that cool? Ah, oh, it's so neat. So, anyway, it totally works. I did have to replace the battery because I had turned it on a while back. However, when um, we forget in our day and age that there is an off button, on these calculators. So you have to make sure to turn it off. And if you inadvertently squish it or something and turn it on, it stays on and it runs down the battery. So look what else this jewel has. The original case. Isn't that awful? It's like a plastic denim. Inside the owner's manual. Look at what it's called. An electronic slide rule calculator. Electronic slide rule. Electronic slide rule calculator. How funny is that? Oh, it's just it's just beautiful. So let's see. And it's done like you know, like you're a little police officer. Very very 70s. And there apparently there's optional accessories. Hang on. The oh here you go. There's some initial display. Oh, it does have an automatic turn off. Electronic control, as opposed to switch control, of on and off allows the calculator to minimize power consumption by displaying a number for only a limited length of time. How technologically advanced. The display reverts to a traveling decimal point after typically 25 to 50 seconds of non-use. As soon as any key is pressed, the display is restored. The safest method of reactivating the display is to press EXC twice. The safest? Like if you press the 9 button, the whole thing is going to explode? I don't know. This ensures that calculations in progress are not effective. Incidentally, ensures is spelled with an I. And I'm pretty sure that if, you, if something is insured, it's supposed to be an E. This ensures that calculations in progress are not affected and that processing continues as though nothing had happened to the display. So let me turn this on and we can yap for a little bit and I'll show you the other things and then we'll wait till it has the traveling decimal place. I remember that. My dad had one of these. Okay, so let's see. This is, um, look at that copyright. Copyright 1976. Can we get that? Does it focus? No, of course not. Too close. Copyright 1976. Here I am. 
Zippo Wi-Fi connected with a phone, a phone, to the entire world via something called Periscope, talking about a 1976 thing. What? I mean, just the, just the irony here, right? And then I'm complaining that this thing won't focus when I do really, really close up. What? By the way, if you tap the screen, it'll give me hearts. So if I tap the screen, I get nothing. So I can't even give myself hearts. How is it that you can't love yourself? I don't know. Anyway. Okay, so there's no more pretty pictures really in here, although it does have the serial number written by somebody. Oh, and on the back, it's got David and then C-A-L-C, David Calc. I'm pretty sure that guy's last name is not Calc. So I'm not sure where I acquired this. You know, people give me all kinds of weird stuff. They go, oh, look, I found this in my basement. You're a math person. You want it? And of course I say yes. Okay. What's the other thing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it has the Texas Instruments optional accessories for the TI-30. <laughs> look at those cases. That's hideous. They're awesome. Oh, it's a, it's a form. And look, TI still has the same little logo. It's so sweet. See your local TI retailer or you can order it. I wonder if it says allow four to six weeks for delivery. Okay, so check her money order, right? Um, handling charge in Lubbock, Texas. It doesn't say. I wonder what would happen if I mailed this to them and ordered it. They probably would send me back a note that said, you're a lunatic. Ooh, rechargeable kit. Apparently there was one with this. There's a biorhythm thing in here. This is totally not part of it. I'm sure. Does the TI-30 do biorhythms? Oh, it's fun to chart your biorhythm with a TI-30. Holy cow, that's awesome. Okay, this is goosebumps, total goosebumps. I'm gonna figure this out because, okay, so maybe tomorrow or next week we'll do my biorhythm calculator that doesn't work, which is such a sad thing, but it was so much fun to have. So maybe I can figure out, maybe I can kick it or something, get it working. Anyway, so, <sighs> tap to, oh, do we have the traveling decimal? Oh, we have the traveling decimal place. Do you see it? There it goes. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Oh, I love it. However, it doesn't actually turn off. So you actually have to hit the off button. Again, like I said, my dad had one of these. And um, what a memory. What a memory. What fun to be able to, to browse and peruse. I appreciate you jumping in with me to look at this and enjoy it with me. Um, this will be on YouTube later. If you go to math4.com slash KKY, um, I'm posting all of these on a Tumblr called knickknackyak.tumblr.com or you can just go to math4.com slash KKY. This has been episode 33. It is July 29th, 2015. And I'm pretty sure that, what is it? 1976 to 2015, 75, 85, 95, 105, 115. Oh my gosh. That thing is 39 years old. And I'm older than it. What? Okay. So, uh, July 29th, 2015. So, in 39 years, we're going to look back on this. It's probably going to be destroyed. And go, what is going on? Look at that old technology they used with the iPhone and the internet. What was that all about back then? So, anyway, Bon Crowder, math4.com, math4, on social media, at math4, math4.com slash KKY, that's Nick Knack Yak, this is Nick Knack Yak in the Math Shack, do this every morning, approximately 6 a.m. Eastern, and um, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow on Thursday. Y'all have a good day. Tap some, tap for some arts. Tap, 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 tap. Bye, y'all. <laughs>